Yeah, you know, I, I just think the, uh, the size and the space uh, difference compared to Winter Park is, is remarkable. And I think that it'll really, you know, help us give the players uh, the treatment that they deserve, uh, the ability to uh, recover uh, with all the different areas that we have uh, now featured. So at Winter Park we had uh, six treatment tables and a couple were against the wall so it was kind of hard to maneuver around them. Here we have ten treatment tables, um, two are high-low tables so they move up and down. Uh, we have five taping stations compared to the four at Winter Park, um, not to mention the twelve stations we have in the recovery room. Yeah, so the hydrotherapy area is probably the showpiece of our athletic training room. Um, you know, we have a, a hot tub, a cold tub, and an underwater treadmill. The hot tub and the cold tub are in ground instead of guys having to climb up a ladder to get into them. And they could, you know, fit probably 15 guys uh, in each. They're unique. They've never been designed before. They actually have two different depths. So the shorter guys can also be in as deep as the taller guys. Yeah, so we have a cryo chamber. Uh, it's an electric cryo chamber, which is different than the nitrogen-based ones. You know, we felt it was a little bit safer for our players. Uh, I think it's going to be a huge benefit in uh, the recovery of our players to be able to get in the cryo chamber, those that want, uh, you know, once a day, and uh, really just help regenerate their body, uh, keep the inflammation out, and, and get them ready for the next day. Yeah, you know, it was fun to, to come along the way during construction to, to see, and we did make some changes during construction, you know, um, to, to help it function better. And just to walk in here on Monday and, and look around and see what we have to work with and know what we came from the last, myself, 12 years, uh, it's just, it's remarkable and, and really uh, kudos to ownership for giving us this opportunity. Yeah, I would say the whole building itself, you know, um, a lot of thought was put into it in regards to uh, how to best prepare the players and so you know not just this space you know the training room is outstanding they'll benefit from being here period you know so obviously this uh, room will help us in uh, facilitating that you know the indoor is is massive unbelievable the biggest indoor you'll you'll see <laughs> I haven't seen a bigger one you know time is a premium in the planning process that was obviously something that we took into consideration uh, the ability to go inside and outside uh, immediately was was one of which we, we thought of. Yeah, I mean, it gives kind of an indoor-outdoor feel to it. You know, we spared no expense with the type of equipment and the support that we, we got from top down, from ownership to Rick to coach them and in regards to doing what, what, what is best, and, and we did that. Yeah, I mean, we had to get real creative there at Winter Park in regards to some of the planning, in regards to some of the things we've, we've done. We spared no expense here, you know. No stone was unturned. And so, yeah, we're gonna benefit greatly. Well, it's, it's pretty exciting to be a part of the move into this building, the, not just the locker room, but the entire building. The locker room is big. We've got ventilation for the players and, and just all the amenities that anybody could, could be looking for. Well, I think, you know, it's great for them to have the space to kick back and, and be around the fireplace, around the TV, but I think when you're trying to bring guys in to recruit them to come here, it's, it's going to impress every one of them. I mean, there's, a, there's certainly a wow factor in the building and definitely in the locker room. The players are going to love it, and I, I can't wait to see Everson Griffin's reaction.